good tomorrow. Of course, the Islanders making it for the first time in program history and their prize number one seeded USC and the ESPN National Runner Up Player of the Year, Juju Watkins. Now I had a chance to talk with the Islanders today about facing Watkins and really what they're going to have to do to not necessarily shut her down, but really just make her uncomfortable. I've seen her everywhere. I mean, I've seen her all the highlights and all the, you know, we know how she plays. So we, we're going to like try to make her, make her feel like uncomfortable, you know, make her feel out of her spot. And we will try to guard her as, as better as we can. So we'll see. We're going to have to play team schemes and do the things that we do together as a one on five situation because I don't think she's a one on one matchup for anybody in the country. So we got to go play together. Of course, it's a high profile team, a team that they earned that number one spot, um, but they also have to earn beating us as well. We got to go out there and play uh, together like we have been these past two games. Uh, you'll hear more from the Islanders tonight at 10, including from fifth year grad student Alicia Westbrook on what this historic tournament appearance means to her. The school is having a send off on campus tomorrow at noon and a watch party for the game Saturday at 3.30 at Brewster Street Southside.